This week, we're going to be cleaning the bilge and replacing the batteries. And we've got a few other electrical pro projects and cleanups we plan to do. Now that I've vacuumed out the compartment, what I'm going to be doing is spraying it down with a mixture of 50% water, 50% simple green to help break down some of the grease and just general crud that's built up in here over time. And after I let that soak, I'll be hit. I'm hit. I'm now hitting it with some steam from a steamer. It's just pressurized it does a good job knocking everything loose with being low impact and you don't really have to worry about damaging to, to anything too much One of my goals for in here is to try to get it as clean as possible. I'm not necessarily worried about a perfect showroom clean because, again, the purpose of this compartment is to hold batteries, oil, and things like that. It's going to get grimy just over time, naturally. Um, and there's also water that splashes in back here every now and then. So that's why I'm using Simple Green, which is a little bit safer cleaner less less harmful if there happens to be any residue again I'm trying that's why I'm steaming it afterwards and leaving my drain plug open so that way anything everything can drain out the bottom getting ready to take out the batteries one of the things I'm going to do before I take them out is I'm gonna just take my cell phone here snap a couple pictures of each battery of everything overall just so that way if I happen to get distracted or something happens I will have some point of reference to where where I was before I started.
proper size socket for the connections. I'm using an electric screwdriver to undo this because the only reason I'm not using the main impact is I don't want to use too much torque and potentially twist the stud in the battery. Granted, these are going these batteries are shot and being replaced. It's just again out of habit and an abundance of caution. Well that was assuming I could get them off with it. Might have to switch to the main impact just to loosen them. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, as you can see, I've got one already marked with black tape as a negative. And we'll just take some tape and pair these two up. Have trouble with the tape sticking. I would. Uh, I've got a microfiber here to help dry off the connections. So, as you can see, that last battery only had two wires running to it. This one actually has three. It's got a troll motor one. Which I'm going to wrap those two together as, and a on-the-go charging system. So I'm going to wrap my positives with red together. with black both of them and then just do a quick wrap of black to so that way they're easily marked compared to the others. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of the red tape. Just put it on the back side just as a quick visual reminder and I'll do the same with the black tape again just trying to make it a little easier to remember we will pull out our hold down our battery hold down and now we're about ready to take out the battery
got the new batteries new batteries ready but I'm gonna take out a spacer that the footprint of the Optimus allowed it to work but my new batteries being a more traditional shape will not work with okay. so we got both those out and now to lower in the battery
can see that was kind of a disaster detail back there. It's probably the first time that bilge has ever been steam cleaned or deep cleaned to that extent. You can see we also had a little bit of issue with the new batteries and had to improvise and try to get it, make it work. Um, all our electronics are testing out all right, so looks like we got her got everything working correctly and everything wired back up. Um, next, we will probably install the Garmin Live Scope. Also, please like, comment, sub subscribe. Uh, so y'all saw how I went about cleaning the bilge. How would you do it, or would you even worry about it? To me, it just gives it makes it look a little nicer and. When I have to get down in there and work, I appreciate it being a little cleaner. How about you? Let me know what you think in the comments. See you next week.